What is going on guys? Hopefully you're having a great day today. In this video, we've got some chaos to clean up. Uh, from the weekend here, I had basically every can, every dumpster I've got uh, out besides this one. Um, everything was just, it was crazy. Um, for me, anyways. And so today, uh, we have a total of seven dumpsters, dump trailers, or, or the actual cans to pick up, to dump, and then bring back here. Um, I've got one to actually deliver today, so uh, usually from the weekends, um, this is what I kind of like to have. Mondays are kind of a cleanup day because the weekends were so jam-packed, um, hopefully every weekend, uh, that... Uh, Mondays are just cleanup days and probably along the way I'll probably get a call or two uh, to have one deliver either you know today or planning for this week uh, scheduled on the books but yeah we've got a lot to do today um, most of it are most of the cans are in my area um, a few are a little further out of my um, closer range I would prefer but uh, yeah we've got some some cans some dump trailers to pick up uh, I'm gonna do the cans first uh, bring them back here and uh, get it going. So uh, we will head out right now. So that's going to be this 15 yard uh, that I've got here. Uh, we will take that uh, out of town, probably another 45 minutes uh, to get this dropped off. And then from there, uh, it's just all pickups the rest of the day. So uh, one drop off so far and uh, we'll get to the rest. Alrighty, so we got the second one picked up. This was actually kind of convenient because it was on the way back to Lafayette, uh, just a little further on the outskirts, but I uh, got this 10 yard picked up, uh, had a, a grill, bunch of siding and uh, other you know odds and ends but uh, this was uh, again a full full weekend uh, rental here and uh, we're just gonna keep on trucking hopefully we can get all seven picked up today making it happen and get it basically resetting for the rest of this week so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it all right so number two is about to get dumped over here we've got a full house as you can see the transfer station it is coming out the door. Um, they must have had a, well, I definitely saw it Saturday and I think Sunday as well, but man, um, definitely a uh, busy Monday for them. Uh, I know the city comes in quite wildly um, Monday morning and everybody's just going nuts. So that's, that's definitely a thing. But uh, yeah, this should be should be interesting. Normally, I'm I'm in and out of here, you know, 15 minutes, something like that. But I don't think that's going to be the case today. So we shall see.
So the third dumpster we're picking up today is my 20 yard, one of my brand new 20 yard cans. Um, I'm a little concerned uh, about this uh, pickup because um, there was another 30 yard can from another company who wasn't able to bring another can. That's why I even got the job was I was able to bring them a 20 yard can. And uh, they basically, the customer had me double park the other company due to space needed for what they were doing. They're demolishing basically uh, a uh, barn slash overhang type of an area. Well, with that comes me being in, in front of that other dumpster. And what I don't have, and I just realized uh, earlier this morning, I don't have anything in my contract addressing the the situation of if I if you do have me double park somebody, I will come and get the can like I'm going to right now. However, if that other company is upset and they choose to drive off because they couldn't get to their can because I'm blocking them, and then that customer gets charged, I haven't addressed that in my contract. I don't have anything about that because it's honestly, it's just never come up in over two years. So maybe that's unheard of for you in your area uh, or it's something you haven't even had a chance to, to uh, deal with yet. But uh, this is going to be added to the contract and, and how things are going to be dealt with. Um, I am not going to be blamed because I didn't get there quick enough, uh, their perfect timing due to another company who tried to come get it. Um, I'm not gonna pay for the extra, uh, the dry run of that other company. And uh, it needs to be in the contract, absolutely. So um, that's something that's going to happen today. But let's go ahead and grab that 20. Hopefully things go smoothly. And uh, the other company didn't even try. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that other 20. She didn't think I could do that, but I did. I'm able to. I pulled it off. <sighs> Brand new 20 yard can. And we've already damaged it a little bit. And then also with that, uh, from this pickup that you just saw, we also have some fun little side swipe damage here as well. Now I think most of this will buff out, could easily come out not that big of a deal but really what in the world actually happened i've got touch up paint that's gonna all wipe off not too big of a deal but uh wow not cool not cool at all so yeah i, I pulled this off with the back roller and uh, the day continues. So on to the next uh, 20 yard can. Then we'll grab the other 15, um, get that dropped off. And then dump trailers. My 15 and my buddy 17, 
hopefully we can squeeze everything in in one day here we've got three hours left um, I'm hoping we should be able to pull that off so let's go ahead and get into it Alrighty, so we've got the other 20 yard completely filled up here uh, they're gonna be moving the vehicles out of the way so I can get to the can we'll get the tarp across and get this out of here all right so we got the two tens we got the two twenties now and one more 15 so five actual dumpster cans and then uh, we'll get to the dump trailers um, those are my least of a priority today so if I don't get to them I'm not gonna be heartbroken uh, and the places where they're at uh, they're not gonna be too upset about it uh, either I'm pretty sure um, something that I did notice you know I, I don't have an automatic tarp system for those of you who do have them I'm super jealous I'm super hyped for you I can't wait to join you uh, because that's just not where I'm at at yet uh, still and so uh, as you have probably seen in several videos now I know I'm still playing the manual tarp game with bungee cords and on my 15s and then my 10s that are two feet shorter it's no big deal for me to just kind of reach up and grab you know at the when it's on the truck to reach up and grab and, and pull the bungee cords off well it's a little different when this six foot really seven foot can um, I'm six and some change so you know there you go um, when this is on top of the actual <laughs> system here on the rails um, there's no chance I mean I, I'm climbing um, I'm kind of cheating walking on top of the uh, the box in the fuel uh, tank and then climbing up this you know right here to get on to the top uh, to get the front well I have no chance in the back at all so um, the first one that I did earlier like I kind of showed you before the one that's scratched and now kind of messed up which is <laughs> when you're buying a new can and the first time you gum it up uh, or something bad happens man that's that's definitely frustrating um, already but anyways instead of doing what I did last time and going from the from the lip here going back all the way there so instead of doing that I just went straight down and I know this may be a an obvious thing but simply taking the the end hook here going down wrapping around here same thing on the back over there and then on the front just taking the bungee cord and going straight from the corner here down to the bottom you know a little um, step there dude I, it, it was five seconds each one was done 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 you know and then I just pulled one corner of it off over here on the passenger side and the whole thing just came and maybe I got lucky and those hooks didn't get bound up on anything nothing got caught uh, I might have hit the lottery but uh, that was just a huge relief um, finding a better way until I have a, a full tarp system which is coming up on the list of things I'm gonna be doing um, this was this was definitely a win um, it's less of a loss as far as time goes um, doing it this way so on these 20 yards that's what I'm gonna do from now on um, yeah just trying to find out ways to make what you have work until you can do something better more more efficient and uh, to be able to get it to go so let's go grab this last 15 get it dumped hopefully uh, I think it's like two something in the afternoon grab this 15 here across town uh, we'll grab that and then finish up for these cans I'll hop over to the Ram uh, one ton and uh, I'll at least grab one of these uh, dump trailers and uh, hopefully we can finish out the day strong
sixth dumpster for the day. Mm -hmm. um, went and grabbed this dump trailer a little further out of town uh, in another completely other town. And um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the seventh one for today, uh, the second dump trailer. You can only clean up so much chaos. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long hot day. It's been a loud day. And um, yeah, we're gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully this was helped you to see behind the scenes what goes on. Um, day to day, everything's different. Uh, every day is always different in this business. And uh, man, weekends are usually the highlight of the week of the seven days and uh man monday is kind of my my day of just regrouping um if i wasn't out picking up all these dumpsters i would be doing like other paperwork i would be looking at reports uh, i'd be making other phone calls i have several other phone calls i need to make um i'm gonna be getting on um several different kind of small projects for the business uh, that i want to get started so um yeah much to do more to do tomorrow of course uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get home uh stopped here at the uh the casey's and uh got a little rest rest here hit the hit the bathroom and uh yeah we got something cold to drink and ready to go home so uh hopefully you have a great day guys stay safe and god bless